Good morning, everyone. It is January the 4th, 2018. Time to kick off another trading day. Um, we do have news today that can influence the trading. Um, we have bigger news tomorrow, which was likely to keep things in check. Um, the trends uh, are continuing uh, that we've had already this week, so the directional moves are still intact. And we'll keep that in mind as we pick out our trades today. Hypothetical or simulated performance results have certain limitations, unlike an actual performance record. Simulated results do not represent actual trading. Also, since trades have not been executed, the results may have been overcompensated for the impact of any of certain market factors, such as lack of liquidity. Simulated trading programs generally are also subject to the fact that they're designed with the benefit of hindsight. No representation is being made that any account will or is likely to achieve profit or losses similar to those shown. Okay, uh, yesterday when the buying in the stock market started to accelerate the selling in treasuries picked up uh, they've been kind of sideways holding their own waiting to see what kind of a boost the uh, e-mini would get and uh, 2700 fell pretty handily and I believe yesterday's close was what 2711 so we had a strong close uh, equities around the globe are up overnight following the US lead treasuries are down and if we put both of these together uh, volume wise you're definitely looking at a B if we separate out London we've got a B before London we've got a B in London so the issue is can we bust the 2316 to 2312 area and that remains to be seen pretty good support down here at 2312 if that comes out um, then we're into new territory stops below 123 even eventually uh, would be the target in my opinion uh, so we're looking for a place to sell it this morning without news uh, the news this morning ADP I've seen it as low as 181 Econo Day is carrying 188 that would be in line with Friday's non-farm payroll number jobless claims 240 PMI services 52.4 that could come in higher than the forecast Net gas, don't know. Last week drew 221. It could very easily do that again this week. Crude inventories minus 5.2. The APIs drew 4.9. The news focus will be ADP and then the direction of the E mini, which I believe is higher. So, 20 to 23 is resistance. Uh, 20 to 24 um, would like to sell. Uh, 23s are better. Uh, I had start off with a 19 to 23 sell. Top of values 23 and a half. Um, I'm kind of torn right now, so let's go 23, 27, sell one. Move it up a little bit, 31 to 03, sell 2. Don't think we can get there. Can live with 19s or better. On the buy side, um, 13 to 17. Going to lean against support. Then 5 to 9. Hope springs eternal. Looking at the uh, 30 year resistance, uh, we're in it right now. So definitely starts at 4 to 8. We're close enough, so we'll make 4 to 8, number 1. 11, 15, sell 1. 19 to 23, sell 2. Be nice to get something done in this area right here if possible. We'll see. Um, so, 48 would be the first resistance. 
Um, 20 to 24, number one. I think there's a down bias, 13 to 17 by one. One to five by two. Okay, uh, the warm-up has begun for us. In fact, they even have some 50-degree temperatures forecast for us early next week. A little moisture in the forecast, too, for this weekend, Sunday. Uh, we desperately need it. I'm hoping we don't get it because of... Uh, the mess the dogs have created in the backyard. Okay, gold, the trend has been higher. Um, Perhaps a seller above 20. We had identified this uh, 13, 20, 21 area as resistance. We did manage to make it almost to 23. As long as we stay above 1300, this market can trade higher. Um, first sell this morning, 14 to 16. Based on stock market strength, 19 to 21. Sell two. On the buy side, um, 8 to 10. Buy one. And three to five by two. News focus, ADP employment. Uh, we've been getting a better read on the fundamental news through gold than we have through treasuries here this year so far. The euro. Then we got resistance up here at 25 to 35. So we'll make that sell one. Looks like it should trade through, but that is resistance. So 21.50 for sell two. On the buy side, um, 121 even. 120.75 for buy two. Okay, crude oil, uh, we expect a 30 to 40 tick trading range until the EIA numbers and um, announced. Uh, we've got the same problem we've had for the last couple of weeks. They're forecasting a draw in crude and a build in products, and that has tended to hold the market in a range. Uh, tensions in the Persian Gulf don't look to be lessening. Uh, China has called for the news uh, agencies out there to quit reporting um, the bad news in Iran. Uh, so we know who China and Russia will usually side, side with. The U.S. has called for a Security Council meeting, which will uh, certainly garner Chinese or and Russian uh, vetoes, but uh, it is a necessary step. Uh, so right now we had resistance last night at 62, 62 and a quarter. We'll keep that. It did get stops above 62, and 62.50, 62.75. On the buy side, 61.50, 61.72. Buy one looks like we're gonna we have a shot to get into that area. Then 61 even, 61 and a quarter for buy two. Um, the APIs had a draw of 4.9. Gasoline, they had a build of 1. Point plus 1.9. And distillates plus 4.3. So they're 
runs are pretty high. They're drawing crude down and making products out of it. Product inventories are high. So it's the same thing. They would like to see a draw of in crude of at least 4.9. 52 would be better. They would like to see a build of less than 1.9 in gasoline, a build of less than 4.3 in distillates. So I think the market today with a draw in crude will uh, depend on what happens in products. If we get a big draw in gasoline and a draw in crude, the market could rally. If we get a, the expected draw in crude and a build of over 2 million barrels in gasoline and over 4 million barrels in uh, distillate, and the market could sell or at least stay in a trading range. So uh, down to the inventory news as always. Okay, the E-mini is higher overnight. rest of the world followed the E-mini up. Uh, we're headed for 27.25. Haven't made it yet. On our way. Uh, strong market into yesterday's close. We were guessing a close at uh, 07.08. It closed at 11. Uh, so everything is pointed higher. Uh, 20 to 25 is where resistance is. Um, on the assumption that we will get stops above 27.17. So uh, don't really like the short side of the market. 19 to 21, sell 1. 24, 26, sell 2. On the uh, buy side, uh, 10 to 13, buy 1. And 5 to 8, buy 2. ADP plus 188k jobless claims 240 focus will be ADP but we have non-farm payrolls tomorrow so it'll probably have uh, a huge impact unless it's greater than 225 or less than 150. And then crude inventories minus 5.2 million barrels. So focus will be the ADP number. Okay, it's going to take a bit to get stuff up and posted. Going to get busy on that. Back with you as soon as possible.